like you to say your name. Um, my name is Whitney Allen. That's Whitney. You can get rid of that. Uh, and uh, again, you know, sort of behind the mark, but feel free to move around if you want, and uh, or sit. And, uh, okay. <laughs> and uh, what are you going to do for us today? Uh, the first monologue is going to be from Truly Madly Deeply uh, by Anthony Minkella. Mm -hmm. um, should I wait to say the second one afterwards? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mostly when I'm walking at night, or anyway, by myself. If I'm frightened, then he'll turn up. He'll talk about what I'm doing, you know, some advice, and he'll say, uh, don't be scared, I've told you, just walk in the middle of the road at night. And I do. I move over to the middle of the road. Or I don't know, he'll say, um, it's off this street, there's no proper lighting. Have you complained about this? He's always forthright. But then again, he always was forthright. And I would be feeling alone, you know, very alone and hopeless and then he's there, his presence. And he tells me he loves me. And then he's not there anymore. And I feel okay, fine. Well, I, I feel looked after, I suppose, watched over. See, he never says anything profound or you know, earth-shattering. You know, it's not, well, God thinks this, or about the planet, or world events. You know, it's all go to bed, brush your teeth, or, or the way that I'm brushing my teeth, because um, I always do it side to side, and I'll be doing that, and he'll say, down at the top, come on, you know, down at the top and up from the bottom, or lock the back door. Lock the back door. What's the, uh, what's the second one? And the second one is called A Non Bridal Passion from A. My name is Alice, and it's by Kate Shee. Excuse me, Hi. Uh, is this the bridal registry? <laughs> well, I'm here to register for gifts. Oh, God, this is a really big step for me. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Well, <laughs> I'm sure you hear that all the time, don't you? <laughs> When's the happy event? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, you mean the wedding date. <laughs> um, well... There isn't one. Um, I, I'm not getting married. Um, I'll probably never get married. But I need things, and I think that um, registering is a good way for me to learn to receive. <clears throat> yes, I know this is a bridal registry and that you only register to brides, but, well, frankly, I find that a bit discriminatory. I'm here to register, and I really don't want any hassle. I am not trying to be difficult. I do. Okay. Look, for months now, I have been buying gifts for all of my friends who've been getting married. I mean, it's an epidemic. There's been a slew of weddings lately, not to mention uh, showers, and I brought gifts to every single event. Okay, and it's not that I begrudge them their happiness, not at all. Hey, I, I'm a very supportive person. It's just that lately I've been feeling something's a little off balance, you know, kind of out of whack. 
I, uh, yesterday I was attaching these tiny silver bells to a spice rack for my friends, Howie and Wendy, and this little tiny voice inside of my head just started screaming at me. And it said, Schmuck, why do you keep buying gifts for people who've already found everything that they're looking for? Or, you know, something to, to that effect. I, I, I don't, uh, I don't remember exactly, but, but I do recall that the voice sounded resentful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, wait a minute, uh, before, go back up for a second. Okay. This real, this real, uh, brief, all right? Let's say, um, this is like out of the blue, I'm throwing this at you, it's just like a fun thing, all right? Okay. Okay, let's say, um, um, I'm from Harlem. Okay. You're from Harlem. Okay. All right? And, uh, and you just caught me sleeping with your best friend. And, and you're mad as a motherfucker. I mean, like, that kind of mad. Okay. Can we hear that from you? Sure. I, as kinda... raw as you like to deliver it. Okay. All right. Just kind of say whatever? Yeah. All right. Just get raw, I mean, to the gut if you can. All right. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking serious? I went to the grocery store two fucking minutes and I come back and you're fucking sleeping with this whore? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not surprised. Why am I not surprised? I mean, I just, uh, I can't even begin to imagine what was going through your mind when you think that, oh, hey, why don't I go next door and knock on this whore's door and decide, oh, you know what? You're looking pretty fine today. Why don't I just fucking put my dick up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> that relieves some of the tension.